All that and more met Governor Gray Davis at his campaign stop at Eureka's Warfinger building. Among those in attendance was local activist and executive director of the Campaign for Old Growth, Susan Maloney, who has been sitting on the steps of the state capitol demanding that Governor Davis keep his March 1998 pledge to ensure that, quote, all old growth trees are spared from the Lumberjacks' acts, end quote. Maloney, who yesterday was on her 15th day of a hunger strike to call attention to the issue, managed to get in the front row, directly in front of Governor Davis, to further her point. We had tape, um, articles, uh, copies of the article onto the placards that they were handing everyone that said uh, Gray Davis on them. And um, we taped them onto the inside of them and then we put them face to face and we, I actually got into the front row with two of them. And um, so I was in the front row and, and when his wife was speaking, um, she said Governor Davis made campaign promises and she was about to say that he kept them and I said and I stood up and I flipped over my signs and I said well he's also made another one that he hasn't kept good on and uh, she said something about you know do, do people want to hear me go on and everyone said yes but I, I did you know I said my piece I sat down I tried to be as respectful as I could and then later when Governor Davis was speaking he said something to the effect of it's true we haven't saved all the old growth but we're working on it so uh, he definitely addressed me. Um, I, I'm, I understand that a couple people, a couple reporters have called his office to ask for statements. Um, I didn't tell him yesterday that I was on, on day 15 of a hunger strike. Today's day 16. But um, he definitely knows there's people out there that are unhappy that he didn't keep his word. And, uh, you know, it was as close as I've been to the governor ever. Uh, I was in the front row of a very small room. And... Um, he definitely knows that we wanted we wanted to keep his campaign promise from four years ago. Did a lot of environmentalists show up with similar messages? Um, no, actually, they they came around the room. Most people, I was lucky enough to get my signs in and then sneak them in. Um, most people got um, most people sort of found out that they had their signs, and they um, they asked them to leave. There was no dissent in this room. They said if um, there's any homemade signs or any si uh, any Bill Simon signs that they would not allow them in the room, that we could only be in the free speech area outside. So uh, it was a challenge to, to get th those signs in and to, um, you know, to do anything that was, uh, you know, against what the Davis campaign wanted it to look like in there. Which As for what issues Governor Davis addressed, Maloney said that because he was on his campaign tour, he stuck to all of the good things he'd accomplished. He had some good points to make about him being absolutely pro-choice, and uh, even if it, even if um, Roe v. Wade got overturned, he would still stand in, in uh, California to have it to have it stay. So you know, he, he had some good points to make. He's done some good things for clean air. But for those of us on the North Coast, oh, one thing that people did say, which I thought was interesting, almost everyone that got up there and spoke um, said that how beautiful an area we have here in Humboldt County, 
and um, one of them even alluded to the fact that they they just flew over. Now, I just flew over there recently, and it looks trashed. You can see all the clear cuts and all the all the messes and all the landslides. So I, I don't know why those people were looking. Perhaps they were uh, flying above the clouds. But um, everyone loves to say that Humboldt County is beautiful, and Humboldt County is absolutely beautiful. It doesn't give us the right to destroy the last tiny fraction of our old growth trees that Governor Davis promised to save. I know you didn't tell him about your 15th day yesterday, but has he been aware of you sitting on the Capitol steps? Um, we understand that um, several reporters have mentioned this to him um, when and gotten stories. Um, and, um, and he knows about our concerns yesterday. Whether he knows I'm the person sitting outside or not, I'm not sure, but I bet he does. I bet uh, people in his office do know him. I've been here uh, pretty much five days a week for the last three weeks. And what kind of reception are you getting there? Um, I'm getting great reception here. I've got, like, kids coming around and, you know, very inquisitive and wondering why I'm doing this and what's happening. And their teachers say, oh, this woman's, you know, they, teachers often explain it to their kids, why, why I'm doing this. And people stop by and sign the petition and reporters often stop by and do interviews. So it's, it's been really, really good. Yeah. Do you have a sign there with you or anything? Or is it yeah, I have a sign that says, Hunger Fast, 16 days, Gray Davis, keep your promise, protect California's ancient redwood trees. And then my name and the website at the bottom, which is fastforoldgrowth.org. The petition Maloney referred to is one she got going years ago. And it just says, Petition to Governor Davis, uh, we know that you've made this campaign promise. Um, the continued logging of old growth trees is a major environmental issue. Um, the state's lack of resolve has...